Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can extend your video just like this. So the original video was actually vertical mode and then I extended this with Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, into DaVinci, first of all, make sure you record your video first and then just import your video into DaVinci. Now you wanna select a frame somewhere from the center where it's not moving around and something like this is fine. Make sure you use a stabilizer so your camera doesn't move from its place. That's really important. Now, once I have a frame from the center, I'm gonna go to File, Export, Current Frame as Still. And this will export this frame as an image. So here you want to select PNG so you don't lose quality. And let's just export this on my desktop. And now I'm gonna go into Photoshop. All right, into Photoshop, I've opened this still that I just created in DaVinci in Photoshop now. And what we do now is we need to extend this shot. So let's go and select the crop tool here, press right mouse and select 16 by nine. Now, if you hold down Alt or Option on Mac, we can stretch it out to the center like that. Just make sure the top at the bottom is right clicking there. So it's perfectly in the center. Then press enter. And now we can create some areas around our still. So let's select this area here. I'm gonna select a bit more from the still so it doesn't cut off at the edge and then click on generate the fill, no keywords and let Photoshop generate this with AI. And after that, we can add some stuff if you want to, but first let's make sure Photoshop is gonna fill this area with AI. Now you can see we created some areas here. Now here you have different variations. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think this one looks fine. Let's also do the same for the other side. So I'm gonna select the other side here, take a bit more like that, then click generate the fill and generate this with AI. Now, once I'm happy with my surrounding of the still, I can export this and import this into DaVinci and then we just need to make a mask and we're done, right? So let's see which one we want to use. Let's just use for the sake of the video, this one. Let's say you want to add some stuff here. Maybe you wanna add a, let's select this area. Maybe you wanna add a pillow here or something. You can just use your imagination, add stuff. And if you want to remove stuff from the still, just select those areas and then write no prompt and Photoshop is gonna remove some stuff. So if I wanna remove this painting here, I can just select this painting here and with no prompt, Photoshop will remove it, right? So this is fine. I'm gonna keep this one. What I'm gonna do now is let's flatten this image and then I'm gonna go to export, save for web, and I'm gonna use PNG to export this as a PNG file and import this into DaVinci. All right, back into DaVinci. Let's first take this clip and put it on the second video line so we have space underneath it. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna import this image that I just created in Photoshop and stretch it out through the whole video like that. And let's go to the settings of the project here. And you can see here we have the timeline resolution. It's still vertical resolution. So the only thing I have to do here is select this one. So it's horizontal, right? And now you can see here, it's filled up this whole area. Now you can see here the corners are not quite good. So we can easily fix this by clicking on our movie layer here, then go to color. And here you wanna select the window, this one, and then with the pen tool, we can select our area. And now we can just simply make a selection of ourselves here, just like that around it. Then we wanna press right mouse here and add alpha output. And let's put this one here and that one there. And I can see it's made this mask for me inside this room and it works perfectly fine. You can see here, we fixed our video. And that's how easy it is to create this kind of effect in Photoshop and also with DaVinci. And now you can really use your imagination by creating a lot of stuff around your video, but I think this one is fine just to show you how it's done. So that's it. Make sure you use a stabilizer so your camera doesn't move around or else it's gonna look weird, right? So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and catch you on the next one.